It's the Wave Podcast. Wow. <laughs> four eight, man. Four eight for real? I think so. Jeez. The wholesome boys is back in the building, man. Back in the biz act. What are you talking about? <laughs> Now we host me and Cursey, man. It's a family channel. Yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> we cursey. Right. Yeah, you know, you're right. That's fuck out of here, The time we on, bro. Yo, it's been a minute. Yo, a lot yeah. of cool things happened. Like, Bad shit happened, bro. Like, you know what's crazy? Like, think about it. Last time we had the pod, in that time we went to the studio, our, our damn near like 60% of done with a whole ass album, basically, bro. Like, a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, right? bro. Now yeah. you about to die here. Like, what? What you um, saying? Done. That'd be a 90%. Damn near, yeah. I just got to get engineering sessions in. We're going to get the little documentary thing going. Right. Uh, it's going to be cool, bro. I'm trying to get, like, you know how the vinyl is? I'm trying to get a poster that looks like a vinyl, but it'll have the album artwork and then the tracks. Oh, so that's, that's fire. As soon as they buy a poster, and it's just like, that's going to be that's like actually That's heat. Type shit like that. But, um, yeah. That's, that's fire. It's going to be so fun, bro. Like, I'm... I wish I could do this. Like, th- I wish this is my job. Like, just being about creative. To be. Like, hopefully, bro. Like, about to be. just be creative. Like, damn. Because it's just like meeting new people, collaborating, and just like all these energies is just cool, bro. Like, damn. I wish niggas could just damn. do that, come together, and shit like yeah. that. Like, all this shit. love, bro. Come together. You gotta, <laughs> gotta come together, man. You gotta, you gotta work with me. <laughs> the chess pieces, man. But, yo. <laughs> Be on Spotify, Apple Music, you know, yes, everything. Um, Otto Parker, he's gonna have a uh, Spotify profile soon, bro. Yes, sir. Who's Otto Parker? Me. Oh, that's it. That's that's Otto. Otto. What the last one? Parker, like just for Parker is that's a, like shit. in 2015 when I was a SoundCloud rapper for like three weeks. That was my stage name. Oh, where Otto Parker. Parker. Otto Parker. So that's where Otto comes from. It's just like literally going back to the roots. Like, oh, okay, Otto. Shit. And then Otto Parker is cool because it's like. It's like it's a person, like Otto, but Otto Parker. Yeah, like, yeah. It's identity. Yeah, like it's... Like the, the, you know, how Jay... No, Beyonce had her alter ego and shit like that. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Is so Beyonce I'm, part... That's not part of her name, right? Or that's her middle name? Who? Oh, well, Beyonce's no, but Beyonce's her name. Beyonce, yeah. I'm thinking of her sister, never mind. Solange? Yeah, Solange, I'm thinking of her sister. She fired too, bro. She I, hard. She hard she as hard. hell. Yeah, I'm messing with her, bro. I've been messing with her shit a lot. Like, what is that album she dropped? Um... I know she like it's like with Benz and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, Benz is hard. Yeah, I right. like her. Uh, was she part of Destiny? She was part of Destiny. Yeah, she was. She was. was there someone who wasn't part? Destiny, Solange, and uh, what's the other bitch? It was Michelle. For Michelle, nobody fuck with Michelle. That's fine. <laughs> Yo, it's... Nobody fuck with Michelle. Yo, this nigga hate you, bro. But yo, praise up for my boy Castro, man. Like, it's a calm boss, nigga. He, he going through it. Yeah, man, I'm dying out here, man. Yo, <laughs> for real, for real, on some shit, bro. You what? probably, I don't even think you know this shit. You cut, you got the cut. I was there. <laughs> what <laughs> shit? The B, bro. I got the B, man. Nah, what's that? The wave season or not? Nah, it's about to be wave season. May might be, may not. You know, depending on how I feel. Like, it's work. That's work. You be on the do it or not? Nah, I don't really be putting the do it. So I probably won't even do waves like that. It's just, um,. I was sick and yo, I woke up like three days ago, two days ago. Look my, I had to, I, cause I wake up early. Yeah. I was gonna take a, sh- I was like, I look myself, I gotta take a shower, cause my hair was crazy. Like, I gotta yeah. take a shower to really maintain my shit. Uh, I was like, I can't do this shit no more, I'm cutting it. Yeah. Cause yeah, you, you really, damn, you put that out a minute, cause. COVID. So, yeah. COVID, it was a COVID shit. Yeah. Cause I had it kind of like you had it, like maybe a little longer before. Right. It's like, yeah. But then after COVID, I was like, fuck it. Like, there was no it's reason like, not to not grow, you know what I'm saying? But now, like, like I'm working this shit, like, it's just too much to maintain. I'm not in the same right. headspace. It's also like, you know, like in, in Avatar, when Zuko was like, he cut, you ever see Avatar? I, it's been a minute. Yeah. I see it. Was but minute. you see, you know, like when Zuko um, just got back. The fire, the fire, the fire dude, yeah. right? And he was, you know how he was like the prince? Yeah. And uh, Uncle Iroh and him got banned from the Fire Nation. So when they were on the run, they was they cut their hair. Both they cut, they chopped their shit off. I was like, this is new beginnings. They threw in the river. Oh, I feel, yeah, you know what? That do make sense. So, so that's really COVID. Not COVID, but it's yeah. like different. It's different, 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 different time, bro. I'm trying to be on something different, bro. I need something new. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, when you cut your hair, it, it, it kind of it symbol, it symbolizes a lot, but like, it's just like a weight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm fresh. Like, I'm yeah, it fresh. is. That shit do be weighing a lot, bro. So, 
Yeah. My shit is a lot too. Like it, it don't look like it, but it's just. You gotta do a lot to it, bro. It's black, so it's just like yeah. So sometimes it's 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 like, damn, bro. So yeah, I'm just trying to thug this one out for a little bit, low cut, get back to my roots, get back on my grind, then uh, see what happens after, bro. You know. Change. Would you do the um, uh, full fro, like a full? What you mean? Would you do that? Yeah, I'm taper. Ready. Taper. It would grow the same way. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, taper probably. Keep a taper and just go around. around. But I'm not going to... Because, you know, usually how I do it is taper until, until it gets froze. Like, the froze crazy. Mm-hmm. Then I cut the sides off. Oh, okay. I because that inside is less oh, air. Yeah. I could just... You know. Yeah, it is easy. Yeah. That's the thing. Especially when you get sick, bro. And it's like... Well, you just tired. It's like, Yo, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. Wild. Yeah. Wild, bro. After a week of being sick, bro, my shit not like a <laughs> motherfucker, bro. You got to really be in the shower. I mean, the shower sometimes. Like an hour, shit. bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit crazy, bro. Yo, really shit too early, bro. So That's now, bro, I took a shower this morning. This was fun. First shower, like, yo, first of all, I would go crazy. I was like, <laughs> oh, wow. I, I went like that. First thing, like, yeah. you, like you scratch your head, nothing. Like, it was real. It was a lot. Yeah, I know I do feel good. But it's cold, so it's like, um. Besides, yeah, that's the thing. Nah, I can just wake up sometimes. Like, if I shower the night before, I can just wake up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't but now that I, because you know what the problem is, you go to hair, you go to sleep with hair wet. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. And then you wake up, and you should still fucked up. It's <laughs> even more fucked up now from the sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. That was like a lose lose, bro. Yeah, now you had mad hair too, bro. My I was had like, hair, bro. My son started that new, that new wave, bro. It's not like the 360s, because you can. It's, it's yeah, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's tight. Like, it's, yeah. Just brush it, really get get going, bro. Yeah, we're gonna see, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see what we do, bro. I'm taking our body right now, but I, I got shit on my mind, right, so. Be thinking, because now we in that that space of like the money movement and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, because again, like winter, sun out, bro. Like, you know, like, it's not summer no more. Yo, it, it changed. It's, bro. A, it's, it's a vibe. Great. It's great. It's dark at like five. I six, think about it's like, how about to make it out? I'm gonna make it out the hood, bro. I don't know, man. You, I, you the businessman. I, 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 I low key came to a realization. This work shit, like, oh, gang, like, for real, like, this work shit cool, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna suffice, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, I feel like compared to others, I, I may sound like a dickhead. Like, I, I think I do all right and yeah. calm, but, like, this shit not gonna do it, bro. It's not. Like, it's, it's not. It's gonna not, yeah. For, for like, <laughs> multiple reasons, bro, but it ain't gonna do it for me, bro. Think about shit we want to do. Like niggas like traveling. You can't do that. Yeah. Right? It's just like that's that's how life is at, bro. Yeah. And and honestly, if work was like in other countries, if it was like four days a week or something, bro, I think it's, much better. Yeah. It'd be much better. But since it's five, I think um I think like I don't know what there's like something scientific where I think forty hours is like the maximum number like peak humans can like exert themselves over a week. Really? So it's like, but niggas work forty hour weeks. So obviously, yeah. Like they say, like just you doing Yo, the work. You know what's crazy? So that's crazy because I get in at seven thirty and I'm out four thirty. That's nine hours. Yeah. So the week I'm really hitting forty five hours, bro. Yeah. And by the time Saturday come up, Saturday, Friday is dub. Saturday's a dub. Yeah. Like Saturday's a dub, bro. Like yeah. you want to do anything, bro? Like I'll be more tempted to go out Friday night than Saturday. Yeah, cause I'm already outside. I'm already up too. Yeah, but Saturday. Saturday, I'm um, inside, bro. And then Sunday, I'm still like, that's it. You know, it's like it's not. It's <laughs> Sunday, like, like, oh, Monday's yeah, Monday. Yeah, Monday. I'm already thinking about the work again. Like it's like I can't it's do like, this shit, bro. I think the thing is like, but when I say work, I mean like you physically doing stuff. So that's yeah. including you working out, going to the studio. There you go. That's what that, <laughs> that's what that forty hours yeah, is. That's... So if you're working forty hours, it's like. That everything after is like, yo. It's like, you're not supposed to be doing that. That's where the rest comes in. So it's like, you're conditioned to dead ass just work and then just sleep. That's what you're conditioned to do, bro. It's crazy. And then you could, with the older people at work, you probably notice when they're like doing stuff for work over the weekends or at nights. <laughs> you know, stuff like that, where I guess it's just ingrained to work. Work. But it's like, damn, bro, we seen, we seen the, the, the pasture, you seen the green, bro. Yeah. It's more we can do, bro. Yeah, where it's, it's just finding it, bro. It's really yeah. just finding the way, so I'm just trying to 
figure out what the next move is. Listen, thinking. I got I got money saved, nigga. I'm just trying to like at least with the album, it's giving me a way to spend money because you mm-hmm. have to do that to build your credit and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. I'm just looking for ways to invest, book bread in, right. bro. Like niggas gotta like we gotta right. find some way, bro. Like. Gonna be weird, bro. It was crazy. Like I'm looking at old podcasts and we talking about just niggas being in school and oh how what are we gonna do after we graduate? And hey, look, we accomplished that. Like niggas is working, niggas making good fun. So think about us now, right? What is it? Uh, October or some shit? Who knows? Maybe October twenty twenty three, bro. Niggas on a whole different time. You never know. Imagine. You did that stuff, bro. You dead ass never know. So, whatever. I'll take you whatever call me, bro. I'm looking for new experiences. I'm looking for new things. So, if y'all don't come at me hit, if I got chase, if I got <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> cash out, don't come to me with that type of business. Dude. Like, if you really down to make do some, like, something that's, you have a vision or some shit, like, you know, hit me, bro. You know what I'm saying? We can work something, but, like, don't hit me with no scam and shit either. Yeah, niggas be different, bro. Shout out to them, but I don't think the scam thing is even that. It's not. No. Only if you live with your mom, still I think. I don't, yeah, think, I don't think you can fund like yourself. I'm go. Yeah. I'm past that. I'm trying to get some on some grown shit. Like I'm trying to get some grown man making money shit, man. Like, like I was thinking of. Um, sound like a, a regular ass like corner nigga, but like it's that ass, bro. <laughs> I understand why niggas always say that now, bro. Like yeah. I get it, bro. Like this we shit hard. <laughs> you get it, bro. Like that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make some. I'm just trying to make some bread and keep it pushing, bro. But like, I think um. Like, what if, I'm trying to steal these niggas' idea. What if I get, like, I was thinking, like, I'm playing the office space Ooh. and make it a studio. Ooh. So, like, just steal niggas' idea. Like, shit. Yeah. The niggas learn something. Who gets oh, of out. course, bro. And that and shit, bro, what? Like, that should be fire. Yeah, like, honestly, because it's like. And it's not that hard. It's not. You just need the space. That's it. And niggas that know something. You got one. And then, like, you know what's crazy? They only had one good stool. That second, the first stool we was in. Oh, that shit, you were your tiny self. Yeah, I think that's the main one that we was in. Yeah, the main one, the second one was fire. The first one, you don't even need space for that, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you can still get your shit done. That shit was a closet, bro. (laughs) But it's like, as long as you could, boom. Like, I'm thinking of like... Bro, you're really not that hard. Have niggas do like something like this, but like, say we have an in-house. Like, I can edit podcasts and shit, so niggas come like that. Or just like... Crib. Buy a crib and rent it out. It's like, damn, bro. That's one thing too. Like in my past uh, endeavors, I'm like, wow, a crib would really be crazy. Like bro, we all can be bro. like, what? Like you niggas can't just be in shorties and like, yeah. That's so. That's so bad. You know that? Uh, what's that? A commercial with that guy? <laughs> what? Um, he's like, but when I drink thingy, uh, the white dude with the beard. He's Damn. like, uh, you know what I'm talking about, bro. You said you I don't I don't swim all the time. But what I do, I hold me a cool um cores like not the cores like do. Oh, it's the type of commercial. Yeah, that's uh-huh. less. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're a nigga, bro. Niggas can't yeah, so not not even got it like that, but Yeah, so I don't think I can anyways, cause it's like the big song song where he was like she started to mix Ashley up with whoever in this <laughs> So it's like you bring one person is like, damn, that's all you would hear about for it. For uh, you feel me? Word. So, you, know, how would, how would you, you bring a, a shorty yeah. to your four and five, bro? <laughs> yeah, like, Yo, that's it. It's <laughs> over. You hear about that forever, like, no matter what. Yo, y'all can break up terrible shit. Yo, but what about shorty? <laughs> you know, you still in shorty? <laughs> that was my favorite one, man. What happened? Yeah, yeah, damn, bro. Like, you should have let that one go. That shit is crazy. That's how I don't bring shorties around. Honestly, bro. I don't really care about who I bring shorties on. And it's like, yeah, plus it's deep. I don't know if we get any, yeah, when I was younger, 100% though. I didn't even bring friends around. Yeah, I didn't even bring, until, even now, not really, but yeah. that's just because I don't be hanging out at the crib. I was yeah. thinking that we was always going to house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Right. yeah. So it's like, um, cause that, that's how I kind of My parents it. just started meeting my friends two years ago. Yeah, I think I remember you said, the, the that kickback that was the first time they really seen yeah. my whole crib like everyone that was the first time they was in my crib touch <laughs> yeah. my crib bro like really touch it yeah like real talk that shit took a lot out of me bro I'm a type of nigga though like if I'm my crib like I like to throw like functions I like to I, I feel like I you like you definitely gonna be the nigga that's like yeah like I like to have functions and shit but I like to have functions on my terms yeah I you know, know what I'm saying like niggas is out yo ten. 
Y'all niggas yeah, bro, bro, bro. Like, like, like this, like schedule. You know what I'm saying? If it's a party, though, it's alright. But like, if it's some, like I don't like when people come like too like if they come too un, un like un like they don't text me or shit like oh, I don't like all that shit. Or unorganized. Yeah, I don't like unorganized. Nigga that's not invited or just like yeah. Niggas oh. like if I invite you, you cool. Cause this is what happened the other day, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. I was tired, bro. I was tired. So I had my friends, right? And I invited them. We were going to go to the club. So I was like, yo, they be the sponsor for you. And you know, I got the little show. But like, these are close friends. These are my close homies. Yeah. So like, you know, my room is a little burnt, messy. Like, I, I didn't clean. Like, I, I like to show up, you know? Yeah. Yo, why this bitch had the audacity <laughs> to invite her friends? See, that's different. Without it telling me. That's crazy. 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 Like, that's wild, yeah. Crazy. Even if y'all all knew each other, that's still kind of crazy. I ain't right? know them. But it's like, even that's like, damn, bro. Like, I think niggas is just spoiled just because of the neighborhood you live in, bro. Honestly. Yeah. Because niggas that's got, that's niggas that's got, that's got that's no homes. <laughs> like, that's, that's wild. That's like, that's right? that's <laughs> they just think they can do whatever they want, bro. Like, niggas have, I can, I can imagine a lot of people have died on over some crazy shit like no stupid shit like that yeah you just let it people run up on because yeah, it's a nigga your whole address right like that's different your whole address <laughs> where you live inside your room bro that's different, bro. That's different bro. That's different, and then it's like even think about deeper like okay they know we live they know we about to head out at this time like you you never you're not you're not gonna tell me nothing bro what if this person came earlier now who the fuck is knocking <laughs> yeah. on my door bro see that's different like nigga who, 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 yeah, but that's a tangent. We just went on a tangent, bro. But whatever. <laughs> but you brought up something that was interesting. Um, we're not the same thing, like marriage, bro. Yeah. Uh, How long, like? Nah, we were, okay. So the background was we was talking about like. Like how about relationship? Like how, I mean, uh, this is my longest relationship. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is my longest. For, this is my longest relationship to this day. Right, I'm and I fuck with it, bro. It's cool. It's cool, bro. It's like you, bro. It's it's grown. I feel like. And it's, you know, and we, we work out the kinks and shit, so that's why I fuck with it, you know? It's yeah. not like just one of those shits where it's like, like, we fight, bro. We, around, we fight, yeah. but like, we fight, talk about it, and then, you know, like, talk that shit like that. And then it's like, it's like better, because then after that, you understand a person way more Most on a different level than, you know, you that respect, too. Yeah, word. So, yeah, but then this nigga brought up marriage. Like, what is this nigga weirdo, bro? <laughs> he got weird, bro. Like, it's been like, only like a couple months, bro. Like, but how long did it take your parents to get married? So from the story that I got from my parents, my dad had a crush on my mom, uh, for a while. Oh, damn. and then so so like for like before, but he he ever, you know like when you say oh who's that like who's short who's that short oh who's that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then uh, he pursued it maybe like two years after oh and then they dated for like three they two was in years. DR right. Yeah, so my mom was in the other one, that was here. Okay, so how was it like he seen her at a function or So what happened? So this is crazy. It gets even crazy. So the town that they lived in was like a small town in the R. So it was like a one of those far you know, back roads. Like yeah. So everybody know each other. You know what I'm saying? You grow up with the same people you know type shit. You know, friend family, sister, brothers, cousins. They're friends of friends, friends of, you know, that's Fulana, that's neighbor, that neighbor, you know, that's whatever. It. So, my uncle was fucking with uh, my aunt at the time. They were together. And then uh, my dad was like, yo, who's that? And so, you know, they'd always be hanging out because they're now it's the family. Like, they always hang out. Like, oh, there's a very family orange, and probably like your fam too. Yeah. Where all your cousins and, you know, they all roll together. Yeah. So, they started, you know, rolling together, whatever. And then my, uh, I guess my dad, so he he lived here in the college here and shit. So I think uh, they were back and forth. Two years later, my dad goes to the yard. I was like, nah, he cut that down. And then they was chilling, you know what I'm saying? Two years, I think. Yeah. My mom got married pretty young, like 23. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, 21, 23. And then, so <clears throat> maybe like four years, really. And then they got yeah. married. That's crazy. Yeah, it's calm. It's nothing too fast. They only get married fast. Yeah, but the thing is, that's the thing I was thinking. I was like, like my parents got married mad fast. Like my uh-huh. dad, um, seen her, my mom, like at a restaurant or something. Like they went to, the, and they was they got married like a couple months later, type. Really? A couple years. Here in New York? Uh, it was New York. Yeah, it was New York. Uh-huh. And then um, 
23 years later, <laughs> right? Like, but, you know, stuff like that, or even, like, in my church, well, maybe church is different, because they want you to be married, not really, like, on some yeah. just regular relationship. Like, people would get married, and, like, a couple, they will ever see someone, and maybe a couple months, and then they'll be like, okay, we're engaged for, like, a year, or something like that. Yeah. Or, you know, in the olden days, right? Yeah. So, I'm like, so, what is it? People, you can see someone for two months, get engaged, and y'all married for 40 years, until y'all both pass away, versus y'all could be uh, dating girlfriend, boyfriend for, like, three, four years, get married, and then get divorced, like, the next year or something. Like, right? It, it's, yeah, it's crazy. It's like, really crazy. Uh, you know what, though? It's very situational. That's, like, because you don't know what be happening, too, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, and you, and it's like also those relationships that you see niggas be in a relationship for five years and never get married. Yeah. Ten years and never get married. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, you know, and it has to do with both parties, right? Like, you know, your intention. But I was going to bring up this thought that I know in Muslim culture, there's like a thing that they have like the Kastel, Kastel, or some shit. My girl will be mad at me for saying it wrong, <laughs> but. Uh, where she Muslim? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. So, where once their parents meet, like, you, you there's a moment oh. where you, you like, <laughs> let, like, you let both parents know, like, you oh, baby, and okay. the parents meet, and then from that moment on, like, they have an event. They do, like, a prayer shit. From that moment on, y'all on the way to get engaged. <laughs> y'all like, yes. Yeah, yeah, y'all on the oh, way so to get engaged. I think, that, I think that's in general, like, once the parents meet to be like, um, okay, this is my son, this is my yeah. daughter. You know, stuff like that. Okay, get y'all situated. But right. I feel like at that point, that's serious. Because like, yeah. you got know, all the parents, parents. Yeah. So you niggas can't, at that, you can't be. Right, so my, her, her, my girl's friend, she uh, got, she met this dude through Hinge or some shit. Mm-hmm. Probably like, I want to say, right before I got into my relationship. So probably like, no, that September, was... November of last year. September, oh, like every year. Uh, yeah. Kind of, yeah. They don't like till now. She just got married two days ago. Oh damn! Crazy. That's crazy. crazy. No. I thought you were about to say something else. No, oh, to say like crazy. they got to be late or nah, yeah. married. They was already like by <laughs> month two, three. She was already talking about like marriage. And they both Muslim. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Damn. I guess in that sense, it makes sense because if y'all are on a certain type of time, it's like oh, we both know what y'all want. They are older too, so. Yeah, and I know when you get older, it's more pressure. Like, ah, right, let's let's lock in. But you know, it's crazy. I feel like yeah, yeah, you gotta feel it, right? Though, like you gotta yeah. feel it. Like for me, like I feel like there's a lot of things that I do need to uncover. Like, right? like we haven't we haven't lived together. Mm-hmm. We haven't been in a space together for more than a week, right? Like that's like that's tough. Like I've been on vacation with her. We lived in actually. Nah, I take that back. We've been together for like four, like a day, like a vacation for. Four, Okay. But that's different from living. Yeah, that's yeah. That's live. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I kind of want to move in with a shorty before I marry a shorty, mm-hmm. because then uh, it's gonna be like yeah, you move in with a shorty, she move with you. Whatever. Yeah. I want to live with a shorty before I move. I marry her. I feel like I don't. I would not because I feel like that's just like a weird test. I would rather she can stay with me for a couple of days. Like, not officially, like, she lives with her parents or, or something, or she has a spot, but she can come with me. Yeah, but, like, it's, like, to the point where I need to understand how she is on a day-to-day, day-to-day. Yeah. Right, like, how we really deal with each other day-to-day, like, with all these other things going on, right? Because if we, if we live together, we got to pay rent together, we got to feed, we got to eat together, we got to do this together, we do this. You know, like, that will really tell you if you can fuck with a person forever, right? But I feel like that's the same thing as just having a regular roommate, like, if it was roommates. Like, it's like, in that sense, that's not really relationship. That's just more so common decency. Nah, it's a relationship, though, because com- if a roommate, I could be about a real world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if you, you have your roommate, like, you have your brother, so, like, yeah. you can isolate yourself. And it's the same way, but it's like, you in a relationship, so, like, when you live, move in together, now it's like, y'all together, like, yeah. like, I don't know how to say it, like, I see what you're saying, like, because it's, 
It's like now you in the presence of each other. Relationship, but it's not like okay, I'm gonna come see you at this time. Yeah, no, so you got together. that space. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, like let's say we both live in the You got that space. You can leave. I can leave. We in our world now, right? Yeah. Even though we together, but like, we in our world where I can. But be. it's different than you know. You just you wake up till you see her. Wake up, you know, the deal of day. Yeah. See her again. You know, it's different. You're gonna have the emotions are gonna be. Completely different. You're gonna be going to different situation. You will actually. See, this is only gonna last another twenty minutes, fifteen minutes tops. But uh, yeah, you know, you only gonna see. You can only see so much of a person from like outside. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to go into when I when I marry. I want to marry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need to know. Like, but I feel like yeah. in what in everything that we see though, um, people don't do that. People get like, or my parents, niggas like, okay, let's do this, and then, you feel me? Like, even in terms of, like, bro, niggas ain't know each other that long. Like, your parents probably didn't know each other that much. Like, they didn't know each other's deepest, darkest secrets. This stuff you can only unpack as time goes on. Right. Like, as time. Like, it's not, like, <clears throat> 21 questions. It's like, all right, what's your biggest true. toxic? You have to find out what someone's toxic. True, true, true. Not true. toxic, but someone's, you know. But you not gonna find that's the thing though. Me, I, I wanna I wanna find that shit out. Like as much as I can find out before I marry. Yeah. Because I was still, it's still growing. Like you still learning a person. You never gonna not stop learning about a person. But like I wanna know like what I'm getting into. Yeah. A little bit. Even if it's a little bit, bro. <laughs> oh no, hundred percent. You know, like 100%. I can't like I had a cousin also that she met a nigga in DR. He was from here. Like he was here. Yeah. Um, crazy. They, bro, crazy. <laughs> FaceTime, they FaceTime, like they, you know, they was a, they had their relationship. You go back and forth. He fa- they FaceTime for five months, got married, engaged. Five months. Damn. Five comes, she comes over here, they have a wedding and everything. Comes to find out, he got three other Yo. baby mamas nah. and four other kids, bro. That's wild. Crazy. See. So, like, that's shit that you wouldn't know because. You didn't, they didn't take those problems. They were so far into the love yeah. and this and third. They didn't really like, she didn't do the checks. That's, yo, that's, you know? Cause she got, dude, she got sisters. They're like, she do got sisters. Th- was Nick, she just not telling them? Like, I she, feel like. Uh, to be fair, she might be on a lot, le- a more like the least like good looking side, you know, like, nah, you know, so she oh, was kind of so like, like, I feel like. But I mean, this looking is someone's. She was gonna take. She got taken on DR. Like she got. It was like good looking, for good for her. But like, now she got two kids with her nigga, so they happy. Bro. Oh, they yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm mean, like, you know, with marriage. Go ahead. No, nah, with marriage though, sometimes I feel like some people only get married for love. It's just kind of just like, oh, that's what I was just about to say. Like to have kids like that. But you know what's crazy? Look, crazy about marriage is people just deal with marriage. Because you're in a marriage and you just deal with the situation you're in. Yeah. It's not that you really love the person or this and that. That's the situation you really in and that's the best situation for you at the moment. Yeah. So you just don't yeah. be like. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like niggas be ignoring because like, nigga, when you get married, they say he locked in for life, like, for better, for worse. Probably niggas just ignore the whole shit and they be like, ah, bro. Niggas be tapping out or just. Yeah, crazy. Like, I'm like, bro, like, don't you? Y'all gotta work. Because you're gonna have to have them uncomfortable conversations. <laughs> like more than, more often than not, really. You gotta be able to bring up those conversations. Cause you don't wanna be stuck, but um Yeah, bro, so I'm guessing you saying For me, because the type of person I am, how I think is like I just want a glimpse. I need to see like like if we can move in, preferably I would like to move in or live with a person for like a while. Yeah. And then like, you know. And then go ahead and get into marriage. I don't think I'll probably want her to just pull up on me and just you can Propose stay with me for a couple of days. <laughs> like not like a whole ass arrangement. Cause say it don't work out. Then that's it. No, but like if yeah, she, she like yeah, if I got my own crib, she can come live with me. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. Out, and then not on so <laughs> y'all will have to happen and y'all hate each other and then y'all. You'd really be gonna, surprised <laughs> how many motherfucking uh, leases keep. So they keep brother. relationships together. That motherfucker, <laughs> you know, like for real, bro. Nigga, you at least end up uh, in four months, bro. Like you about to thug it out with you over there. I'm gonna thug it out right here, bro. Regardless, yeah. regardless, because you know, just tough, bro. Like, so, I don't know. That's that's, too that's why if I ever become a landlord, I'm gonna pick up couples. 
Yeah, the nigga be down with some young ass couples, bro. And then, um, oh, one thing I want to talk about, because you're, um, what would, you, what would you be, agnostic? What do you mean? Like, in terms of religious. Like, what? Like, what's agnostic is, like, you believe in God, but it's like, but you Yeah, believe I believe, I believe, I believe in God. I'm not atheist. I, yeah, I'm not atheist, yeah. Agnostic. I believe in, like, I take shit from every religion and shit. Like, I take, like, yeah. paths and shit like that, but, uh, it's not like, uh, Something would be like say with different, like you said. The most yeah, we talked about, about that. Bro. It's easy. We're well, not easy, but it's okay, y'all. Yeah, on this path. yeah, I got to say culture. Yeah, I do this out there. Yeah, or beliefs even about marriage and stuff like that. So then that would be where the compromise comes in. Where it's like, okay, I'll give up a little bit, and you give up a little bit, yeah. so we can do this and that. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, now nah, for real, we we be having those conversations because we like how her friend got married. We was talking about, like, um, like you know, yeah. what is, and we low key gonna have to have two, mar- uh, two weddings. <laughs> oh, we gonna have, yeah, yeah. We, have, we might just have to because, like, you know how Muslim is all about um, modesty, yeah. and you know, the thought is like, you know what I'm saying? We bring it together, but you can't even, it's, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be, you can't, black, you, black, you yeah, can't, black you can't, black first of all, you can't drink. Yeah. You That's can't drink. Yeah. Number one. Two, the uh, the dancing is gonna be you know limited because you Not can't really dance. Yeah, like you can't dance with the other gender. So like the, the way how it's set up is really the the wife and the husband dance and everybody kind of like dances around them, mm-hmm. but like, it's really sectioned off to oh, women man. and men. Yeah, Muslim is actually way more like Christian is not really that. No. Nah. Yeah, like it's not. It's more you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so and then you know I'm Dominican. Do you, you, my family's Dominican. Niggas party, bro. My party, yeah, <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, lit, niggas drink, niggas dance, niggas do all that shit that is not, you know, that is yeah. literally the opposite of two of them. So he was like, yeah, bro, we're gonna just have to have like two things. She be eating, so like, um, is there any interesting in like going out or stuff? We're not going out, but it's no, like, not really. Not gonna eat this and that. Yeah, we just can't eat pork. Like, really, like, then, really. um, but what, what's the muscle thing? Um, uh, there's like a month, a certain month, or a certain time. Oh, period. yeah, where they, they fast and shit like that. Yeah, like, I mean, I, she take parts in it, and then, like, I try to, like, this, I try to do it for, like, a support. day. Yeah, support, I support them, you know what I'm saying? Of course, yeah. like, uh, we would hang out, so the thing was, like, for us, like, uh, she can't eat during the day, so, and she would only, I would, she would come see you after work. Mm-hmm. So after sundown, I uh, obviously I gotta have, I'm gonna have a meal for her. Like, yeah. She gotta eat, bro. Yeah. She ain't eat all day. You know what I'm saying? Get that. She's tired. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. you know, yeah, it's cool though too. To be like that, I feel like like we we could respect. Like, I can give a friend that's not OD Christian. Yeah. But like you just gotta respect. You gotta respect what it is. Respect my yeah. I'm respect where just I guess little compromises to yeah. make sure y'all both happy. You know what? I, you know what? One thing that I'm kind of really happy about lately is um, how our relationship is kind of grown in the way that you know, rather than like, you know, when sometimes when you talk to somebody, right, and you're speaking your views, it's kind of like you. It's oh, sometimes it sounds like you want to convince somebody. Mm-hmm. Okay, convert. Co- yeah, not, yeah, convince, convert. convert. But like to not even to like the religion, mm-hmm. like in general, like like ideals, and. Sometimes it's like, you know, because we're both competitive, sometimes we would be like, uh, we both want to get the last word or we yeah. want to win a conversation. But like, we're kind of getting into that emotion of like, okay, we can have our difference, we're going to talk it out, we're going to have a different, we're going to have a, we're going to find a compromise. Like, you you know, you don't got to fuck with this, I don't got to fuck with this, but like, we got to find a middle ground. Like, mm-hmm. Or if I, I just want to know what you're thinking. Like, sometimes, like, you know, of course, like, I just want to know what you're thinking, I'm going to do what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's, it's not like, you know, Eddie, yo, you got to do this way, this way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, let's talk out. I think grown, that's, that's what you got to do. Because that's what life is. Like, you can be right. What is it? It's like, would you rather be right? Or would you rather be... Um, right and single? Happy? Yeah. 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 yeah, you can be right and then be single because it's like... Because you can, uh, can't see the other point of view. Yeah. Yeah. Cause even in the same site, even if y'all are both Muslim, there's gonna be some stuff you agree with and she doesn't. Like even if y'all are on the same religious spectrum, cultural spectrum, everything, there's gonna be something that 
is not the same. So I guess, you know, that's interesting. You know, you know one more last thing. Sorry. Yeah. Tangent. You know, another cool thing is like, it kind of, you know, like when people, like I know I do this a lot, where I, let's say somebody wear a crazy fit, I wouldn't wear that shit. You know when you self like um, you push it on yourself like I want to do some shit like that yeah. I want to do this oh uh, he's wilding <laughs> he's wilding yeah he wilding like, yeah. or so when we go into like some conversations <laughs> some shit. she say something but I'll be like damn you say that about me <laughs> like I'm personalizing it to me but it's really just like how she feeling or exactly. how you know so it's kind of like I've been working on like. Not personalizing shit to myself, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm seeing everybody, I see you, like, you got your life, bro. Like, you do what you do because you like to do it. Something in your brain telling you you like to do that shit. You like to make these. Yeah. I don't know what it is that makes you like to make these, bro. <laughs> but it's just like... But, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's you, though. That's not, you know? Yeah. And I probably, that's you. You gonna do you, and I'm gonna do me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna do things because they got their own world. Yeah. And, you know, this main character shit. Everybody literally made, is a main character in their world, bro. So, you know? Yeah. No... Not deep diving into uh, that was the main character, but then in life, where what would we what would, would be what would we be called? We're like life we're is a social. main character. Yeah, yeah. Like we're the main character in our world, but yeah. in life, life is the main character. Yeah. We're all kind of side, or the earth is a main character. Because like we're all just passing through and everything, Word. working together, bro. Like, I mean, yeah, working together, fighting each other. Like, like we're like, come on, bro. We're all the same. Yeah. So if you, that's what I'm saying, yo. Just focus on yourself, bro. That's why I didn't say it, bro. Focus on yourself, bro. A lot of shit will change for you. I feel yeah. like don't compromise yourself for anyone, bro. Word. Don't be you. Yeah, word too. Apologetically, you. Word. And you're gonna attract someone. Do something positive. Exactly. Yeah. Somebody yeah. themselves. Yeah. On the relation though, on yourself though, you go. You do it something you love. You go find people that love that same thing you do, bro. Exactly. Yeah. So just keep doing your shit, bro. Stay focused, cause you get you get lost in the influence of other people, bro. You be not the same. It's not the same world, bro. You don't know what they. Yeah, you got you. You live. You try to live somebody else's lifestyle. Just for some pussy, bro. Not for pussy, buddy. This, that, third. It just you gonna find yourself in a guys. Social currency shit. Shit Yo, social currency is crazy, bro. Yo, that shit crazy, bro. Like, yo, bro, okay? Like, and you know what's crazy? The funniest thing about social currency is you go searching for that shit, you'll never get it. You, you do it yourself, bro. People want to be just like you. You're not going to be sad. Ain't that crazy, bro? That's wild. Man. All these influencers, these pop stars, they did what they love, yeah. right? Making music, making something that people can listen to. Because they follow them. themselves. Now, yeah. I mean, now they got people following them. And they came after. Like, niggas are trying to chase that. But it's like, nigga, something came first. Yeah, exactly. They was successful in this. They was, you know, in that thing, right? Like, it, that's, that's wild, bro. It's wild, bro. It's just, I don't know what started it, but it's just... Social niggas, media, bro. It's the cart before the horse, bro. Car- the Kardashians. Different, bro. All them shits. You see that shit with the Kardashians right there? Um, Where the, sex tape, the sex tape thing. I think they still on some things. Something happened now. Um, so I don't know. I mean, Kanye just that nigga Kanye. He doing his thing. But nah, Ray <laughs> he finally spoke out though. Was it, it was about the um the sex tape. tape. They was doing the uh. Um, they were saying Chris Jenner. Uh, what's the name? That's her name. The mom. Chris, Chris John Lewis. That's what Kanye right. Uh, she uh she planned every sex tape and she had other sex tapes planned. That's so it was like contracted. He had the text message and everything, and he and you know because how we all always saw. Have you ever seen that by the way? I don't, I, don't crazy. lie, bro. No, I haven't. I see that shit many of times. I just I just know the picture. There, there's a picture. Yeah, yeah. I know the picture. I never actually it's seen it. It's fuzzy and shit. Where where is, is it? Maybe it's on on Warm another. Up. Damn, you know what's crazy? I've been off. I've been off. Word. Yeah. Cause you yeah, you're right. Obviously, nigga. Nah, you got bro. no energy. Just do some shit afterwards. You don't got nothing. No, nah, but I'm, I'm like, hey, that, that's what's up, bro. Nah, yeah, because, like, think about it, though. Like, that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. what happened, like, let me tell you the story. It's just funny to me, right? <laughs> so, what happened was, Ray J, he just finished uh, uh, getting divorced. Yeah. Like, he just got divorced. Wait, that was before the, the sex tape, right? Now. Oh, now. Recently, oh, he got divorced. Yeah. And uh, his kids are grown, I guess. Or, I they don't know how. Yeah, they got to be grown, bro. Yeah. 
maybe twenties or they're younger, right? But yeah. that view, right? So the view, like if they, you know, yeah, kids be finding some shit, bro. Yeah. Oh, you know came up. This is what happened. So it brought up again in the new Kardashian season, where you remember the scene on IG that was going around where the son was like, she showed the Roblox. Hey, then they were showing the Kim Kardashian sex thing. Oh, wait, I thought that was fake, bro. No, that was the show. That, I thought that was a real thing. So that whole... I've never seen, seen that. Yeah, yeah that shit was terrible, bro. That's crazy. That's And that's planted, bro. Like, really think about it. That's planted to bring, like, relevancy yeah. to the new season. Okay? Yeah. So, it's wild, bro, because... I feel bad. Like, man, like, them kids growing up, and it's like, damn, you see Bro, you really gotta shit. deal with that shit, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying. People just talk. Like, I'm like, that's I'm, evil. Like, my parents telling me about certain stuff, it's like, okay, I'm listening to them advice. But it's different. If, like, if your parents telling you, oh, you know, be smart, or, you know. And you got a whole sex thing, bro. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah, you should have been smart sucking that dick, <laughs> yeah, bro. Exactly, yeah, exactly. What is you doing, yeah. bro? Like, where they grow up, bro? Kim is gonna be a dog, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. She's she not gonna have no control. She's not gonna have no control, bro. That's what, what's her name? What's the girl's name? Is it North or the other one? North, baby. This is, this is the kid. You can really tell that nigga's not gonna be a dog. Vibe, bro. She <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> but, but the girl, the oldest girl, she go vibe. Yeah. She go vibe. Uh, Kim Kardashian. The girls don't care, bro. Like, don't care, bro. So now she's really gonna get to She gonna be like, oh, really, mom? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, is that? Yeah. yeah, but so what, the, what happened was it got brought up again, and Rachel was like, "Nah, this is some bullshit because this whole time I had to keep it secret because you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, everybody thought it was him. Like, Ray J leaked it. Like, he was a bad, yeah, yeah. But he tell it like he probably was going through like his career. Like, yo, this thing is nasty. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're basically blackballed because they yeah. Oh, yeah. He did the he video did. like this thing is a schmuck. Yeah. Bro, like he a he a dirt ball. Isn't that crazy? Cause they damn near white, where they look their white passing. Yeah, so they, they, it's like damn, y'all gonna paint the dark skin nigga. That's, Whoa, that's the the evil nigga. So that nigga finally was like, yo, fuck it. Like he the more like you know what else gonna hurt us, bro? Yeah. He was like, yo, yeah. He's I don't know how he had the messages from that time, bro. But he dropped messages saying all this. Yeah, more fun. Like lists <laughs> of like. Pictures yeah. of the wall, the vacation. I'm like, when they gonna drop each thing? Bro, yeah, bro. Chris dropping saying like, say some shit, bro. It's crazy. That's wild. Bro. Wild. Like, the things they can do for attention, bro. bro. Wild. And what attention? Like how? Like it's like, I don't think niggas are really gonna remember. Like think about, like you think people gonna remember them after they pass? Kardashians? Like in like 60, 70 years. The like, generational influence that they had, bro. It's crazy. Probably about some Marilyn Monroe, probably type thing. Yeah, just the whole family. I'm thinking of like, damn, some niggas that's like, like Kanye's probably immortalized. Yeah. And niggas gonna be. Kim is immortalized, bro. Listen to Jesus Walks in like 2096 or some shit, 3030. Oh my goodness, bro. You swear to God. Yeah, you feel me? Like, some. Yeah, like, you feel me? Like, some. Like, the boom bap shit. Nigga, at that time, you know what's gonna happen? They gonna have shit in our brain that you can just listen to a song, what you're thinking of, it's just gonna pop up. It's gonna pop up. Yeah, I can see yeah, Kim can definitely be immortalized. I don't think this like is some very more wrong, but you know who else probably the youngest one, the one that got like the like is a billionaire? Kylie. 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 She probably for makeup and shit in that makeup she industry. Yeah. She a legend probably. Uh but that's it really. Because they were the innovate. They started that with BBLs. Think. If you think about BBLs, yeah. Big booties. Big that's them. Yeah, I think yeah, it was they've been on that. It was that's be dying, bro. It's crazy. Yo, bro, you know. I see some shit on my G, bro. Is that, I think I saw Kanye's mom. There was something that happened. Really? She was like, I mean, It was like something with the surgery, but it went wrong. That's, that's, really? what, that's what initiated. But with that surgery? The procedure. I don't, I don't know if it was a BBL, but it was something like that. Wow. Where it's like, bro, you got to watch these doctors. Because these niggas don't know what they're doing, bro. Nah, for real. They just doing whatever for a check. Like, and it's like, for real. Bro. They, they don't give a fuck. They don't really give a fuck about your life, bro. Like, I, there was a shorty who died and the friends threw her off the bridge or some shit. What? Like, she had a BBL or some shit that shit fell. And they just, like, threw her out the side of the car. And, like, like I was like, what? What's happening? Like, How's a BBL kill you? No, because they, they inject you with some shit. So it's just, like, either the uh, needle is sterilized or whatever, or it's just they injecting the wrong thing or it's yeah, too much. Too much. It's too much. It's, it's not tires. I, some nigga made that joke, so I just automatically think it's tires. They put it in the uh, 
They put in something that's not it's godly. That bitch up. They put in something that's not godly, bro. That's all I know. <laughs> that shit ain't natural, nigga. That's all I know, bro. That shit funny. Nah, so <laughs> that shit, that shit crazy, bro. You know what I see on IG <laughs> was? I seen an IG. You know one of those um ads that come yeah. up, and it looked like it like yo get yourself. It looked like sorry, God, it looked like weed page, bro. <laughs> and it was for BBLs, no. iPhone. It was like yo for three thousand, no for three thousand, no six thousand something, three thousand dollars. Get you a BBL yeah. plus three massages, <laughs> and you get you a, a, a one free checkup, bro. That's crazy, yo. Three K, three K, bro. And you can get a you can get a lipo and a BBL for this pack package deal, bro. bro with a dollar. I know this shit is going crazy, bro. No Nick, bro, it done. came up on my IG. I was like, damn, bro, this kind of fire. Yeah, that three K, bro. You already know, surely just got like the whole thing. No what? You know, and you know what's crazy, bro? The crazy part about this post, you it had afterpay on it, bro. No, so you can use afterpay for this joint, bro. You can bro, pay that shit in increments, bro. Yo, that's really sick. Lay away, bro. But it was crazy. Like niggas make the joke, but bitches do it. Like, how does that really work? Like, say you really don't pay. Like, what really happens? Niggas take shit back. <laughs> like niggas would be like, yo, niggas will find you, bro. Like that's wild. Like, they, no, but it's like it's like because you know you can get change and shit on it. You know, like I, yeah. you know, like you pay it off. So it's just like as a contractual shit. Shit, it's probably like the same way you you do a car, bro. Yeah, but I feel like with a car, like niggas can take it back. What you mean? Like niggas can take the car back, but that shit niggas don't. No, but you know you you link it to your car. You link it to a source. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in that sense. I guess it's it's so that's it. It's yeah. just that funny. Nah, because a car, they can literally just take it back. Like, nah, nigga. Yo, imagine getting taxed. Yeah, BBL getting taxed <laughs> off a loan, bro. You end up paying, what, 2K more? Over a spend it to uh, 27 APR, bro. That's wild. Bro. Like, <laughs> like, on your body, nigga. Like, I could, I could see, yeah, the hairline, yeah. You would do the hairline, nah, bro. If I have a ball, I still want to do it. I ain't going to lie to you. Ball niggas that if you go ball, bro, you was meant to go ball. If you if you you gotta do it before, I feel like it's OD. If it's like Jimmy so, like what Tory Lanez did. Like Tory, I guess it's called LeBron. If you uncomfortable, it's like hey, you do you whatever. But I feel like that's was probably less um, stress. That's less risk. I feel like like the people like that's scary. Like people really die yeah, off that. It's crazy. Yeah, that's not. And and DR, Mexico. It's some nigga. Cuba. Some random nigga, bro. China, bro. Random places, bro. Drinking with like bats or something. Bro. bro. Even in the US, bro, you can go to a nigga basement <laughs> and get that shit done, bro. That shit has no like procedure, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> they use that same needle on the nigga with like HIV, bro. Like some like you don't know, bro. Crazy. I actually heard of also. It was like a, my friend was telling me like there's a resort that has a plan for BBL, so you can get your BBL done by a certain doc- or like doctor, yeah. and then they hold you down for like two weeks, a two week, three week stay as you're recovering at that <laughs> resort. Yo, that's, that's crazy. That is, that's some movie shit because it's just they all shooters with BBL with uh, the band aids <laughs> all over their thighs. Well, you know what happens though afterwards? Like once you get a BBL, though, right? Well, like a couple years or just even no, like right after. What happened? You secrete like all the shit that they pumped you with. Like your body starts shooting shit out your pores and shit. Damn. So then you just like leaking kind of. Yeah, because that shit is really like just plastic. They, they put in something Plastic, bro. bro. Yeah. Damn. Yo, so what's it down, bro? But that's why um, we love, I love my natural choice. Word. Bro. I mean, we fuck with BBLs too. Like. No, no. Once, if you get to me with a BBL, bro, I, I'm not judging if you. Get, yeah, I feel like after the OD, I feel like. I don't think I'll pay for a show to get BBL, to be honest. Oh, no, no, no. I see the nigga pay for BBL and the show to leave her. That's, see, that's different. Because that's, that's wild. Regular nigga, too. Because, <laughs> yeah. Like a construction <laughs> nigga, bro. That nigga sick. He was working on my crib. And then this shorty will be in. This shorty will come to the crib to see me working and be on Facetime twenty four hours a day. And so like, I, it was in two years. This happened like the first year. It was you know on top of each other, and they had like two kids together. But she had like four other kids. And he would go in there like you know like Papa Smurf and take care of all these children, whatever. Bro, from t- crazy. Did this thing a dirty matter of fact. Shorty went to, guys, she got her BBL, she was feeling her, she went to DR, 
And in the ER, she started posting, like, with my baby on her Facebook. Yeah. On her Facebook, she started posting with my man, kissing on him, doing all that shit. While the nigga here back home, like, yeah. and I'm seeing him mad, sad. Bro. Damn, bro. Sad as that, because my mom and my dad are feeding me, like, the thing, right? I've seen him work mad, sad, bro. So they come back, bro. She out here, like, yo, I need my money, this and the third, yo. I haven't seen Shorty since, bro. That shit is different, bro. He back. He with another Shorty now. Like, <laughs> he he recoup, bro. He re- nah, he, <laughs> he's <laughs> really built different, bro. <laughs> Yo, the mental niggas is built different, bro. They just be eating that shit on the chin, bro. Like what's all? They take the punches, like all right, bro. We back in the line. Back back to it, bro. <laughs> another big booty bit, bro. <laughs> niggas see niggas don't learn, bro. Cause the superficial shit, bro. It's superficial for a reason, dog. But. <laughs> Everyone do their thing, I guess. Everyone, everyone on, on different time, maybe. But, yeah, bro. Could it? Could it? That's just it's just, you know, to each of them, bro. Like, you know, he old nigga, so I guess he never gonna old, learn, bro. Yeah, that's why I, I was like, man, I want to be out, I definitely be out there in my 30s. Me too. Like, married. But you never know. You, you never know, but best case scenario, you I'm, never know. I'm out, like, bro. Because I feel like it's not work. Because then you get to a point where it's like, people just ran through it after that. Have you, have you seen Insecure? Yeah, that's my show. Yeah. Fire. I, gotta, I think I, I gotta run it back from the beginning. I'm gonna watch it. Fire, movie. bro. That yeah. was a really, that kind of like, really what, good, perspective on like life. Yeah. That's actually really that good. That's because that's mid, late 20s. Yeah. Like, they're how old they were. Developing. Yeah. Fire. Damn, that nigga Lawrence. See, I don't want to let Lawrence, that was different. Other niggas was uh season one. So how he came out struggling. after? Yeah, he he got now, but then that nigga was struggling, bro. At his whole journey. Yeah, it was the journey different. was crazy. Even I don't I don't know about with Issa though, cause that's kind of crazy. Like, <laughs> cause you really like this nigga basically like you the stepmom basically. Me. Cause she's like a stepmom basically. To the new kid. Oh, that's you don't know that, and you know that last that shit caught me off guard. Really, the last. The, the last episode, right? Yeah. Like, that's what you're talking about when they yeah. came out together. Call me up guard because she was with the light skinned nigga like the episode right before, and it was good. Yeah. And then when she wrapped it up the last episode, oh, you know, I'm just with this nigga. <laughs> they come up to us like, yeah. Which is kind of like, that was ass. I'm not gonna lie to you. It makes, I guess it makes sense because like they did all this just to end up, end up together. together. Yeah, yeah, but like, you know, kind of give us some more of a how it happened, but. Yeah, because I don't know how. No, with me. Would you be in that position if it was like a shorty, then y'all drift away, and then she has a kid, <laughs> and then now you're basically like a stepfather? But that, like, we have one more scenario? Say how it is. Would you see yourself ever being in that situation? Like, being a stepfather? You know, if you the nigga, and it's like. I don't really fuck with shorty. I know a nigga our age that does that. Damn. Crazy. Damn, but it's, it's, you know what though? It's really how much you fuck with a girl, right? You fuck with the vibe, what's going on, right? Like, what you, what you looking for, you know? You got the patience, bro. I, me, I really got to see what I, <laughs> how I vibe her, how I vibe with the little dude. That you know, like, if, if she got to be, like, the one, Yeah, she got to be, yeah. Like, she got to be it. I got to, yeah, like, it, like, her. That. Yeah, it can't that. be, not, no, like... Can't be no regular shorty that would come <laughs> in and be a stepfather. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That's a that's a red flag, bro. That's why I was all uh, we was talking about red flags, but yeah. Um it's too much, bro. And that's yeah, the crazy man. part now, like now, like in our age, we could have we it's crazy because shorties do have kids, but a lot of a lot of them right now are adult. So like you gotta pick down, like that's your good pick down. Because really? later on, they gonna be used. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm talking about women like this. But yeah, it's okay. really true though. Like if we make it to 30, like let's bring it back to insecure. Mm. You don't know you remember like when uh Lawrence he started a new tech job and shit. Yeah. He was like, nah, I'm not really desirable, right? But all these bitches really wanted him because they you know once you reach a certain age, you, you know. Yeah, you got you got a good job, you got friend, bad experience sexually, um you, not even. You got the shake. Yeah. Not because usually at that age, it's like, you got the, the grown man so like, not even on the, you just like, yeah. you know what I mean? So you got that, the money. Money. Yeah. Ain't career, crib, got a car. Like, you just check, you, it's easier you to check out of boxes. Yeah, yeah, like, he, he boxes. got that shit in order. Yeah. But that shorties, right? Might be ready to do that shit, like, it'd be like, 
Right, they man. could have a child already. They could have like ex. You know, they of course they gonna have exes and shit. Cause at that age, you know. But like for them, it's different because now you gotta find a good man. Yeah, you know that they just show these. I swear to God, <laughs> and this is gonna be tight because I got friends that fuck with bum ass niggas, bro. That's why you can't eat your cake and have it too. You gotta like from us now. You gotta start working. Like you can't be holding around and then. Cause then you won't have to. Cause then, then that's when you have to start settling, and the niggas is not loving it's for love, bro. It's just you know, cause we married or you know, we're just together, stuff like that. You know, I feel like I find you running down now. Yeah. It's a, I feel like the reservation is the ones that you find that shorty while you grind it. Yeah, exactly. Before you get to it, honestly, honestly. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's my biggest, but not biggest fear, but yeah. That, that it's gonna happen. You know what though? It's like niggas don't know what's gonna happen in life, bro. You may go through some shit like that. What niggas gonna have to do, bro? Is take it on the chair, bro. I just hope I don't go through no wild shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Yeah, like not no like. Please. Bro, like I just don't want to be a story, bro. Like yeah. you know, like so I be, I really be taking shit what other people say here. They start like, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Like you know, I'm personalizing shit right now, but like I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Bro. I'm trying not my hardest. Yeah. Try my hardest, I tell you, you know. Even if it's fall too deep, wrong person, like don't. Oh, uh, you know, bad situations, you know, but shit happen because you know shit happen. But yeah, or just being blinded, I feel like because I think it's the red flags that we ignore. You see a red flag, bro. It's a red flag for a reason, bro. Yeah. So it's also like right situational. You never know what happen. Yeah, I mean, they may not have red flags flag at the moment. Should be happy, you can, people drift apart too. That's another thing. Man, there's this nigga at work who he's exactly ten years older than me. He said like um that he's broken with his shorty, but after ten years that like, they have a kid and everything. That shit made me think. I'm like, bro. Are you married or not? No. Nah. See? But I'm, that's that's a long ass time I feel like. He ain't married. Wow. <laughs> ten years is crazy. I feel like that's a long Why? ass time. Why did he get married? See. Why? Crazy. Yeah, I feel like anything more than two, I feel like I'm like, I feel like you gotta get married at that point. Not got to. Ah, anything more than two, I feel like. I gotta do shit. You don't got to, but I feel like after two, it's like, what, what we do? Like, what's the next step? Like, you can't just be seeing the shorty for oh, nine, ten months if you're not in a relationship, right? That make, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, there's different stages. I guess I hold up, nigga, like, are we in a relationship? Yeah, we were trying for that long, but like, yes. you know and then after that, it's like, you date and go to, to what? Right. Yeah, that's like the earlier part, right? But like, when yeah. you get to a relationship, I feel like it's day to day. Yeah. You gotta just take it day to day. Like, right? Like, it's like, what's your, you know what's a really good question to always ask, I guess? Or to ask yourself, like, what you think a good boyfriend or a good husband is like? Right, like what's your vision? What's your vision of a good husband? Oh, well, me? Of a good boyfriend. Damn. So basically, uh, judging myself, no blame myself, rating myself. Oh, seeing where I lined up to my standards. Right. Like, what are your standards? Like, what do you think is like? What so, do you think of a good boyfriend is? Someone who's on the, on the ten toes, basically, like. You're not necessarily, you don't got to have the house, this and that, but you're working towards something. So, like, you know, you got goals, aspirations. Like, just being a man. Right? As a man, like, you're a man, like, as a, to be a leader, you have to be a leader. Like, so if you're slacking, who you going to lead, bro? You just, right. like, you feel me? Like, what, what's happening? Yo, that's crazy. Continue, bro. I'm about to segue to another thing that I see. Yeah, so, like, I'm saying, like, yeah, as a man, you're supposed to be the one that, I mean, you're going to lead to the promise land, to freedom. <laughs> you feel me? So in that sense, you gotta be working towards something. Try to do a little bit more, like what your parents did. Try to be on that level or, or even higher. Not on some. Don't be on those surface level regular stuff. What's whatever position you're in at this moment is good, but you shouldn't want to be at that same position a year, right. two, three, four, five years from now. Um, even if you surround yourself, with, right. you gotta surround yourself with good people. I feel like as a as a as a man, bro. That's what that's what that's what I'm feeling like. And then you can't be beating up your wife and shit like that. You're shorty. Like, you know, then there's shit like that. You gotta be loving. I feel like a loving nigga. Respectful, understanding. Not a hypocrite, like not oh I I, I got my um 
I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm mm-hmm. at the club. Yeah. All uh, the time. But she can't be. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, nigga. Like, yeah, you know. I feel you, cause it's funny. That's funny, cause my girl. You know, usually how I see relationships is there's that one person that is like the emotional and the one that's not. Right, like you know, my girl doesn't want to talk a lot, and I'm, I'm like, you know, I mean, yeah. I would like shut down that shit. Yeah. But so she be, she be like, yo, like when she gets tired of me, like over some stupid shit, like I'll be, I'm oblivious to it <laughs> until she, like, she really gotta explain it, and I'm like, I, don't, I st- sometimes I'll be like, nah, I don't know, bro. <laughs> like I don't know, like personally, I don't agree with you, know? yeah. But then like, what that happens to me? So on Twitter, I don't know if you've seen that um, one that went around, that tweet that went around was like, I hate uh, dating a nigga that's not the leader of, her, of his group. That shit is mad funny. What? That's crazy. I don't know, like, niggas think that life is a bunch of middle schoolers or high schoolers, Word. but that's not even a, it's not that's a not thing. thing. <laughs> like, it's not. There's that, no leader. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a leader, see a group, you're corny. Yeah. That's y'all that's y'all that's corny, that's y'all that's corny. Y'all corny. Now that you say that, I think there are some people that... There's definitely, there's niggas that really are leaders. Like, there's groups of men, grown ass men, but they just operate on, like, some different new girl shit, right? Like, yeah. on that side where it's just yeah. like, niggas just dick riding one nigga, yeah. basically, Word. and that nigga just like. The all, end all be all, that's, bro. That's crazy. They Jehovah, bro. You talking grown ass men. Grown men. Bro. Like, grown men. Man. Grown men. <laughs> that's weird, bro. Like, you idolizing this guy right here, though. <laughs> that nigga's the same age as you, like, bro. That nigga make eleven dollars an hour, bro. Like, like, what are we doing? <laughs> and they work for Amazon, bro. Like, relax. Like, it's and it's crazy too because the shit they be dick riding the, the nigga over. It's not even just because yes. a nigga. It's not nothing. It's, crazy. it's not even. Cra- it's like it's bro, looks. y'all not learning nothing. Y'all just. Wow, bro. But yeah, that's right. That's a red flag, though. That's what it, that's you got. Yeah, man, that's crazy, right? Because you know, then because of how I see it, nigga, I feel like my friend groups, everybody play a role. A role, yeah. like everybody got that. We, we like it's not like a it's not like motherfucking the motherfucking game you for it, bro. <laughs> it's not like you know, you got the top nigga, and everybody just, top nigga, yeah. You know, like we got out here choreographed to this thing, bro. Like, literally, everybody got there, they're gonna be like the. Oh, the event nigga, they're yeah. gonna be like the, you know what I'm saying? And niggas really, niggas don't have one friend group. Like, it's different. Mad like, different it's people. Different sex that, and everyone, it's like. Everybody bring their flair to the group, bro. Everybody bring their flair. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got their personality, they bring their shit to it. Like, they leading themselves, you know? Like, but when I seen that too, I'm like, yo. One, that's a red flag, because some people really be thinking that. It's like, bro, just run, bro. Because of pride, because like now you think, because it could just be that you know, there's always that one, day, there's always the one dude that's like, just allowed, you know, yeah, the loud, like, the loud yeah. that you know, they got the story, you said, but that's their role they play, you know, the social nigga, right? Yourself, yeah, they funny, but there's a nigga that bring everybody together, there's a nigga that has the crib, there's a nigga yeah. that got the wit, there's a nigga that's lit, smart, smart, the nigga that's financial, yeah. like, but shorties don't see that sometimes, yeah. I feel like. You know what's crazy? Because, sh- I don't know, I feel like shorties operate different. Because they, I think shorties do have the leaders, I think. Definitely. Yeah, like, the way shorties friendship, like, I don't know if it's not great, like, not it really, but it really be on that. Three girls. And you know who <laughs> the, mean, the top mean girl is. Every, it's three girls, bro. It's always three girls, bro. <laughs> and they just jack whatever she say, like, yeah, like nothing, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Girls just operate on, on different timing, I feel like. But I guess it's just... I think because girls are very territorial. Yeah. I don't know. If, even if you see, like, even with their friends, you see how much issues they have with their friends. Yeah, niggas they love. It's like something they see every day, willingly. Like, you're willingly around this person that you... It's yeah. crazy. 
know, but that, that's just something I just to bring out because that's wild. Because <laughs> that it's sense. like the leader, like, bro, what are, first of all, where is your mind at to, to <laughs> even get to that? Yeah, like, yeah, like you, you at work, bro. Like, you like, and that's the slimy shorties that that be trying to fuck with your man behind your back. If you're trying to get that nigga, um, the shorties that be saying that is definitely niggas that be trying to undermine niggas too. Word. That nigga's authority or whatever it is, like whatever that nigga's word, trying to do. Word. So it's just like it's just backwards, bro. It's just it's toxic. And I can't stand that, bro. Anyone that glorify any type of toxic like bro. Please, but you know what I'm thinking about now, right? Please, now? bro. Crazy, get the fuck out of my face. But you know what it is? Cause you know why shorties got leaders and shit? Why niggas don't? Yeah. It's cause niggas be grinding each other, bro. Niggas yeah. be flaming the fuck <laughs> out each other, bro. Niggas will let you know. You niggas know. will flame you, bro. Like niggas, you know, niggas will knock you down a pedestal, bro. And yeah. you like, that's how we all on the same ground. No matter what the fuck you do, bro. Like you know, we boys. I'm a clown. You gonna call me? I'm a clown. You, bro. Yeah, like niggas. But like you know, we you know we doing our shit though. It's not like the niggas. But like shorties, so they scared to come conflict and, and shit. The niggas was bums, like. If they will tell you, you a bum, yeah. nigga. They'll be like, bro, like, you gotta, like, like, niggas will clown you, but niggas will really tell you, like, bro, like, do this, or, like. Word. Like, niggas will give you some shit, like, you know yeah. Word. Shorty should be like, they see nah, I'm out. Their friend could be walking off the bread this see him, and be like. I told you that bitch was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's her friend, bro. And then when she come out, be like, damn, are you okay? You good? Oh, like, my God. Fake, bro. It's wild. Yeah. Fake. Shorty's just different. Fake, bro. Shorty is different, bro. The like, dynamic you know, is different. Bro. That talks, I hate when people um glamorize it, like on some fight over me and, and this, like, bro, nah, bro, yeah. we're grown up, dog. They just talk, like, okay. good. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I fight for, like, if it's like we dealing with some situation, like yeah. you and me, yeah, I fight for that because it's you and me. It's just, you know what I'm saying? We can work this out. Work, but bro. if, you know what I'm saying, you want me to fight over somebody else for you, yeah. go with the other nigga, bro. Please, bro. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, real talk. Like, like if bro. you if you had the audacity to put up another person too, like if you was trying to focus on Yeah, that, I think that's how I'm on that type of time. Like, bro, Go if, ahead. if it's an option between you and, or another nigga, just please Go just ahead, choose bro. the other nigga. I'm bro. not really competitive in that nature. Yeah, I mean that's not even, that's not even. I used to think it was toxic. But I'm like not toxic, but like oh, you gotta be um. Like, prove yourself, but like, it ain't no competition again. I'm mm-hmm. fuck with me, fuck with me, you know? Damn. It's enough stuff in the world I could be busy with. Like, Word. Like, what the hell is it? See, yeah. this nigga been on three months of no nut challenge, bro. Semen yeah. retention, bro. Real talk, bro. Third eye open. It's, it's opening, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's, I'm getting that like, clarity, bro. Just on Most that. Nut. I hope that thing is crazy, bro. That should be happy. Like, imagine that you be nah, mad horny. And you be feeling some type of way when you get some shit regularly, though. For real. Yeah. <laughs> like, when you, when you mad horny and then that post that thing, you be like, damn. Nah, bro, I'm telling you, like, on some shit, like, when you want, like, when you just, for me, like, when you get some regularly, like, you know, so, you know. You, that's it's it. Like, yeah, it's calm. Bro. Like, you, now you can focus on everything else. You yeah. don't really gotta focus on too much. Like, you got that part. Yeah. That nigga's too focused on getting the coochie. Now he's getting the coochie. So much, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, just regular now. Like, it's chilling, yeah. That's how it is. But I, everyone got their different. We was talking about that. I guess we, that could be a good ending. The different <laughs> guys and shit. I don't, would that be it? I don't know. I guess that's when you talk to your partner. Because I'm like, I don't know if I'm just blocking myself because I feel like I'm not. Um, I gotta, you know, get some stuff done, get like my spot, get this and that. Then I can be like, all right, bro. Nah, bro, you do it at your time, though. Like, cause I like right now, I feel like my like my sex drive probably not like OD. Like, like I don't well, think I can well, be so fucking OD. You, you don't think so? I yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. I could, but it's like you don't wanna. Yeah, I'm like damn. Too much work. Well, I should work out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro, niggas is not. Especially right in a new relationship, too. Yeah. Shit, mad work, bro. <laughs> Off rip, you be like, OD long. You be yeah. sweating afterwards. You try to just learn, learn the person's body yeah, and everything, bro. bro. Like, that shit's mad. That shit is thing. hard, bro. And you know, that's. that's I think that hate work, so it's just like. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a tough topic, nigga. What? Sexual, sexuality. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's actually some compatibility. Compatibility? Yeah. Because it can be work on and shit like that. And it's how you see the act. How, how you see, see sex. sex. If you just see it as 
oh, I gotta do it just to please Shorty, or I, this is just like we gotta do it because we're together. Oh, it's like you know, it's like then it's yeah. like this is just a chore. That's it, right? But rather than like you know, it's like thinking of it as like something that you gotta do. You eat, you shit, and you fuck. Yeah, but I feel like I think the first one because you want to make her happy, you want to make him happy. Of course, happy. like you want to like. You know, but like for me, I feel like how I want it, and that's not that for me yet either. Like, oh, we gotta work. You know, we working shit out. Yeah. Cause she is Muslim and shit like that, so it's different background. Like again, so it's like for me, I feel like it's you know what I'm saying. Like it's not that like, you gotta do this. I gotta do this because I I want to do this because I want to see you happy. Yeah. It's right. Funny. But like <clears throat> this shouldn't be like a you know this shouldn't be like a big thing. This should be like yo. Should be a regular thing. Like if we do it, we do it. If we don't, we do what we want. If we don't want to do it. Ah, you know. Because if you like them or you get a relationship, it's like we gonna make this work. Like right. we gonna do what it takes to make it work. Obviously, if it's something that's you're not really tied to, then it don't matter. Yeah. It's like I right, whatever. You gonna find someone else. Like work. No, let's make it. Let's make it work. Let's find the common ground, huh? Because when you work, like when it's like a, a rough path, but you work through something to get to a point, it's like damn, that just brings. The relationship or whatever just to a whole new like thing yeah right. when you work yeah that, that's that's what i feel like right. when you work that's what i'm saying like when you figure some shit about the other person you learn something new you're like damn you have a bigger appreciation for that person yeah. and then especially it feel good to know somebody appreciates you and understand you no understand you a little yeah. bit more just getting that validation from someone like, that's crazy that you cool. validate it's like damn that's it's something take, like underrated you take that shit outside bro yeah. You really take those confidence shits outside. You don't, like, personally, like, you know, it's sad to say, but, like, I, I have, I have more confidence now, like, fuck, so what you gonna tell me, bro? Like, nothing, you can't tell me nothing. Listen, my shorty love me. Yeah, my shorty love me. Nigga, I don't care about that. And she, like, clown, she clown me. <laughs> yeah. Like, she be saying crazy shit, bro. I come out, I come out here, bro, she clown me. <laughs> like, yo, you look like a bee. <laughs> But it's like, hey, that's your shorty. Like, yo, that's my shorty. She love me. I clown her right back. Yeah. Like, but what you, what you say, not going to do nothing to me, though. That's, all, that, that's crazy. That's so interesting. Yeah. Because I feel like that is, like, a another thing. Like, when you have, like, a shorty, or when, yeah, when you have a shorty, yeah. Or just, everyone just helps you. Like, that shorty just brings out that, that yeah. name in you. And it's just like, damn, nigga happy. Like, yeah, like, nigga what? Just, nigga glowing. <laughs> you feel me? Like, nigga just... I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Like, they could just be, like, I mean, that, that different thing, but, yeah, yeah salute, bro. She cool. I hope all my brothers, you know what I mean, get they... Right, everybody should feel like that sometime away. Get they way, man, you know what I mean? For real. But and if you know, you have your time, bro. Everybody got their time, bro. Love happens, bro. Love come and go, bro. Niggas really know, man. But, yeah, man, that's... Yo, what was this, like, the relationship about? Yeah. Niggas yeah. really just getting... Because we ain't, we ain't prime in a minute, I feel like. Yeah, we ain't prime, bro, bro. We, it's like... So, October. Two weeks off, right? I feel like we might have been long, like three weeks. We did the one right before we went to the stew. Yo, it was the stew was fire. Yo, the stew was crazy. Yo, the sessions dropping. You got the vlog. I think, yeah, that's crazy. Like, niggas really in the studio, bro. Like, recording. That vlog was fire. That was great. I like that. That's what, like, I'd rather, like, think about a nigga that don't drink or smoke. In the club, I'd be feeling weird. But in that type of setting, I'm like, that shit not fun. Like, I don't right. care. Like, I'm like, yeah, this shit is just on. cool, bro. And that's. Cause you can learn, cause it's something where it's like, it's it, like we really made we made something, nigga. That yeah. if you listen to this, like thirty years from now, yeah, like met new person, like shit like that. Like it's just cool. Fire. Like niggas got something from it. From that's that and that, yeah, for real. That's and that's why I want to crib so bad, bro. Yeah, cause like bad. when I can start going house party, like I'm saying I can throw a house party. But I think the club is cool. It's fun. It's a vibe. You know what I'm saying. Too much going on. You got too many variables, bro. Yeah, a lot going on. You know, if it's just my people, you always gonna be comfortable. And you can make some shit. You can have, you know. Yeah. The club is like you just there, you dance. You know what I'm saying? Too many yeah. wasting bad money. Shit, yeah, it's a house party. It's your own music. Your own crib. People can bring from. I'm telling you, everybody can bring their shit to that side of my parties. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring soda? Did you bring chicken? Did you bring soda? Or... I bought with that. I bought ice at that time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, give me some ice, bro. I was feeling. Yeah, I, I had no ice, bro. <laughs> that shit, yeah. My shit was all warm. Yo, nah. I like that. Yo, niggas gotta do. Someone gotta do something in November, bro. I know. Do like a. I know. Uh, Friendsgiving or something. 
I think I might do something in December, though. December, whatever. I'm trying to do something, like, yeah. I'm trying to get something. Cool. Cool. I want to do something cool for my birthday. I don't want to go to the club. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you could do it. I do, like, a dinner, but, like, that's it. Or, like, I wanted to get, like, a crib or something. And then do, like, a nice little call. That's or, really hard. Yeah, then a crib would be, a crib would be cool. Right. A crib would be cool. Because my girl birthday is actually the same uh, two weeks after mine. So, if we could do, like, in the middle. In that, okay, yeah. In that, in that time zone. Yeah, now that would be hard. And then just everybody, her friend, my friend, and all that. Shit, man, if it's December, you could probably even spice it up and just do like some type of gifts or some shit. Like, like a what? Or like if it's in like Christmas time. They yeah, know, like, like some could, like, theme shit, bro. Something, yeah. Yeah, fine. Yeah, that shit's hard. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking about it though, so we're going to see, bro. Either that or vacation, I'm going to call vacation, bro. Yeah. I'm not really into it, bro. I mean, not because vacation, yeah, go somewhere new, like, bro, that shit is. Easy. Who, like, who wants it? You got the points, right? Or no? I got mad chase points. Yeah. And I got, I just started, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I got some, what's it called? Delta points. Yeah. Five points. And I just started my, um, what's the one that's really bad? Spirit. I just got some points. Oh, they, they got the spirit points? Yeah, they do, but it's like, you know. <laughs> it's, it's not like, I know the chase points going crazy. Like, chase go crazy. Bro. Yeah. I haven't touched my points since I got over my chase account. Damn, you been at that, right? Yeah. Since so like, I got my I got my first debit card senior year of high school. I think yeah, I got my junior same same shit. And then my Chase, my year two three years ago. Damn yeah, I didn't get mine until I started working full time. That was like that was September twenty one. Yeah, I didn't get my shit, and I got the business one a couple months ago. Which one you got the freedom? Um, I I got both both mine the PNC. Mm. One is like some business. But they both cash rewards. Okay, good. But that was pretty cool because you get the cash. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. points and shit. So this is like, like five percent. So I'm gonna be yeah, and then that that should be adding up. I'm gonna maybe get another credit card to do whatever something else. Maybe the the vacation or whatever. It's, whatever it's just to have it already money flow. And shit. The cash I just got like two hundred or something the other day. Oh, yeah, it works. So two hundred from the cash card. One year. Oh, wow. Like two hundred, nigga. Like damn, two hundred dollars. Two hundred, nigga. <laughs> like, pretty fire. Like, like I don't know where just. No, nah, it, it it built up from um. You get it every, uh, statement. They give you the cash. Like certain so month, pretty. Yeah, so every month you get the cash, oh. and I put it like two hundred dollars. I'm like shit. Two hundred, nigga. Like, that's fire. That's a quick go pick me up. Wait, yeah, like real talk. It's like damn, bro. that's super fire. I'll take that, bro. No, watch out for Joe Biden and the motherfucking loan. Yo, I gotta do it, bro. It ends the thirty first. No, no, no. That's the wrong one. The There's the one that he talked about. I don't think it dropped it. Did it drop? I don't think it dropped, bro. Nigga said it did it drop. Like the form to actually that PSLF. Oh, okay. is different. I got the email. Oh, you got the email from the Joe Biden. But yeah. it said it, I could have I could have sworn it said the thirty first though. No, I think it, there is a deadline. Bro. I gotta do it because I think, bro, that shit, it was damn near the whole, everyone in, in the country was on that site, bro. Like, they was like, yeah, you have to come back at another time. Like, we, we can't handle the process or something. Yeah, but so look right here, it said Biden student loan forgiveness application coming soon. Here's what you need to know. So, you didn't drop yet. The other one he's talking about, though, is the, um, they had. Forgiveness thing. Yeah, that's the one that they was already in play yeah. from, like, COVID. I'm gonna get that. But this one right here has not started yet. By the 31st, I think I got. I that got PSL up. So if that's the one, if you work for a public. Um, yeah, can I do work for a non-profit? No, exactly. Yeah. Get that one done, bro. Yeah. I work for a private, so imagine no one. So I was tight. You yeah. work for a non-profit, bro, get that one done. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think I got to the 31st. Yeah, because both they, the site literally wasn't working. I think it was like, you got to come back at another time. Yeah. Like, damn, nigga. Get that shit done ASAP, bro. That's, free. that's money off the table, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, bro. That's an easy cleanup. Anything to, to get them the loans down, bro. Right, and then after that, it's up, bro. When you got no debt, bro, it's up. Shit, it's up. When you crazy. got no debt, bro, that's up. It's crazy. Bro. Imagine not having no debt at 23, bro. It's wild, bro. It's 23, wild. 24. God willing, bro. God Word. Willing. You, gonna, you gonna try to make some shake, bro. Man, it's a lot of plays that niggas trying to do. Yeah. They're trying to get to the new heights, bro. But, um, slowly. Slowly, but... Surely. For sure, man. Yes, yeah, Embrace Ray Pod, 48, fine. man. Calm, now we got to go back fine. to the roots. Right. You know what I mean? Dynamic duo shit. Um, we outside, man. 
Good. Good. We'll catch up.